been going on dates for the past two weeks when I say I'm not satisfied. This what the fuck I got to choose. When you take me on a date, you open up my fucking door. You open up the door. You pull out the chur if it's a chur. And you cut my fucking steak if it's a steak. I'm always going to order a steak to see if you got some fucking home training, hoe. If you take a female on a date, she order a steak, you cut it. The fuck? They pre-cut it, then you cut it. Be a gentleman. Be the gentleman. You trying to gently touch on this ass. Do the work. Do the work. We going on multiple dates. You want some ass from me? We going on multiple dates. We putting in effort. Bitch, we doing what we got to do to get some ass. Fuck on. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to my channel, Dream the Happiness. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I would love for you to like, comment, and subscribe. So, the clip that I just played at the beginning of this video is a young woman. I don't know who she is. I don't know if she's a rapper or she's just a girl that went viral or what. But, um, I saw her. I've been seeing her a lot on TikTok because, um, basically, I guess, um, like she said, she went on, um, she's been going on a few dates and she's not been happy about her dates because the men aren't gentlemen. They don't, she said they don't hold the door for her and they should, um, you know, if they're sitting at a table, um, they should let the, ch you know, uh, what do you call it? Let the chair out for her and stuff like that. <clears throat> and a lot of people on TikTok have been snitched, uh, s what do you call it? Switching her video, like giving their opinion about what she's saying. And I'm here just to give my opinion. Um, so I understand what she's saying about um, a man being a gentleman, um, especially on like the first date. You know, open the door for your, your date. M men should do that. Men should pull the chair out. But she all she said something about um, and you should cut my steak for me. And she said that she orders steak when she goes on a date just to see if the man her date is going to cut the steak for her. Now, I've never heard of that. I've I've never heard of that one before. Like I said, yes, uh, to be a gentleman, the man should hold the door for the lady, pull a chair out. You get extra points for that. And I feel like when a man is a gentleman, like okay, so if you're on a date with somebody, that means you're you're obviously you're attracted to them at least a little bit if you're on a date with them so i feel like for me when a man i'm already attracted to you and if you are a gentleman to me to me that makes you you went from like here to here like that makes to me that makes a man even more attractive when he's a gentleman um you know and when that's just who he is i didn't have to ask him to be a gentleman that's just who he is i find that very attractive in a man and what else there's something else i wanted to say um oh and it also that, that you get respect like that i feel like when a man <clears throat> you're already attract i'm already if i'm already attracted to you then you're a gentleman that makes me more attract even more attracted to you and you you get my respect that way when i see a man being a man and being a gentleman that you get respect like that from a woman anyway as i think so but when she got to the part where she said um and yeah you need to cut my steak for me so i'm like you ain't got no home training um i don't know about that i've never heard of you know <clears throat> a man cutting a steak for a woman on a date that's kind of weird to me um for me that would be really awkward like especially on a first date i'm still getting to know you you know i don't know you like that and you're gonna go over my food and i'm gonna have you cut my steak for me to me that's giving much like you a child like if you a grown woman you should cut your own steak like that's very strange especially like the man sitting across from you so he's gonna get up just to cut your steak or he what he gonna have to reach all over to where you at to cut your steak for you that's very strange to me and this is somebody who eats well done i like well done steak so it's probably harder to cut well done versus you know the medium rare but i would never ask a man to cut my steak for me that's very 
strange to me. That's very weird to me. And it's very um childish like. That's like that's what you do for a child, a toddler. You have you know, you cut their food up to make sure they don't choke on it and because they're not, you know, strong enough or don't know how to cut up food yet. Or they shouldn't be, you know, a toddler shouldn't have a knife anyway. So, you know, you do that for a toddler, your child or your niece or your nephew or somebody. But not for a grown adult. That's I would, I would feel so awkward having a man cut my steak for me. The only way I see that like appropriate is if um if one of my arms is broke. Like let's say if my, my arm is obviously broke, like it's in a cask and stuff, or a sling, or my hand is broke, something like of that nature, then maybe the dude will be like okay i'm gonna cook her steak for her because she can't use this arm that's the only way i see like a dude offering to cook some a steak for me but besides that if i'm not handicapped why would you why would i want to do to cook my steak for me that's weird kind of i don't know that to me that's weird now i can see maybe if you in an established relationship or you married Maybe that's just a thing that you and your husband got going on. Like, that's just one of your little things where he cuts his steak for you. Maybe that's, you know what I'm saying? I know couples, every lots of couples had their own little thing that they do for each other. That could, Maybe that's one of them. But for you to, like, expect, you're a grown-ass woman, you expect a man that you barely, you, like, the way she was talking, this was like a first date. This man that you don't, you barely know to cut your steak for your food for you any type of food that's really weird and i feel like i want to i'm kind of wonder is, is this woman serious like is she serious or is she just saying that to go viral because you know nowadays people will do and say anything to go viral i don't know if it's going like viral viral but i've seen a, quite a few people you know react to her video so you can comment below your opinion on that i just think that that's strange to cut, cut my steak for me that's that's crazy <laughs> i wouldn't want no man to cut my steak for me that is really strange unless my arm is broke like i said or something like that you, you don't need to cut my food for me i'm a grown woman you know um you don't need to lean across the table to cut my food and another um, girl that reacted to her video on TikTok, she pointed this out. And I do kind of agree with her a little bit when she said, you know, if you want to be treated like a lady, which most women do, you need to act like a lady. You know, the woman um, that's in the video, she's very, you know, she seems to be kind of aggressive like. Um she talks very aggressive very strongly and then you know she's cussing a lot which you know people cuss but it's i wonder like if she's going on dates like that the way she talks and stuff her mannerism it doesn't really give off ladylike vibes um so i don't know maybe that's a reason and maybe she's going on a date with the wrong dudes, but I don't, I don't expect any dude to cut your. Don't expect any man to cut your steak for you. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I, I understand the hold the door stuff, like yeah, especially on a first date. But the steak thing, she she tripping. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video. Y'all can comment below your opinion on that, and um, I will see y'all the next time. Bye.